Okay. It's travel day. It's travel day. <laughs> <sighs> Everybody came down to see us one last time. I gotta say how thankful I am for that. Hospitality. It's amazing. So thank you. You're too nice. You're way too nice. Nano, you gotta gotta come in. We're in a sleeper train now. I really enjoy sleeper trains. I usually fall asleep on most transportation going from point A to B, but this just makes it nice. So we're on our third train of the day. We're now in Hungary, we're going to Budapest, debrief. That is exciting. We've been currently on this travel day for approximately uh, 13, 13 hours, third train, 13 hours, it's been fun. Um, yeah, sun's about to go down. I don't think you can see that at all. But that's what's happening. You're on train number six. You probably can't hear me at all because it's so loud. I'm sorry. So yeah, this, this, this had to happen. Look at that. There's that. There we go. Sorry, Mom. I did it again. I got a steam going on here. Yeah. Yeah. We made minor adjustments here in the middle, but I think we nailed it. Yeah. What? I love it. Yeah, we had we were gonna do more lines in there, wave, and I was like, no, no, West, let's do West. Yeah, I like it. Ooh, I'm excited. Tattoos, tattoos are fun. Yeah. Have fun, Emily. Yeah. Yeah. All right, go. Woo. Okay, here we go. Oh, so that was that was fun. I've been meaning to get tattooed all month, actually. In Ukraine, I kind of searched around a little bit, couldn't find anything, but I knew if you're in Budapest, you would find something. I had to leave the girls. I feel kind of bad, but it happens. I am uh, late, 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 late for a one-on-one. -on -one. I had like 30 minutes. We talked about the tattoo longer and he didn't speak English, so you know. Language barrier problems. But it all worked out in the end. So I'm late for the one-on-one, -on -one, but instead I think I'm gonna have a one-on-one -on -one with you guys. And just kind of explain why I did this. Yeah, uh, in the Ukraine, something like switched inside of me where it was like I'm done playing around. I'm tired of hiding, and I realized that something had happened to me while on the world race that I tried to fit into a system instead of being my organic, natural self. And it was hurting me immensely. In Malawi, I saw the repercussions of that as I was trying to fix the team and fix everybody instead of just doing what I need to do. And it was not healthy for me at all. And it was kind of sad. Stairs, give me a second. And yeah, something about the Ukraine, something about the team giving me an advanced English class where my job was to just talk. And the problem is I could talk about anything I wanted to at this point. Woo, there's so many people in here I am dodging and talking to you. Um, and it really just let me and myself come to the surface and I got to be able to love myself for who I was. I didn't have to quite, I didn't have to fit any system that by being myself and myself fully, one, 
I enjoyed myself more, and two, everyone else enjoyed me more, and I was allowed to thrive in that environment, which I think thriving is the ultimate goal here in every environment. And I really got to accept myself and my passions that I didn't need to box myself into the Christianese Christian label, that just being myself was in fact divine and the goal of all of this. So, in commemoration of all this, I got a tattoo. It happens. I talked about this the last time I got a tattoo too. Not self-love and how every time I feel extra lovey on myself, I get a tattoo. It's like my own personal gift to me. Once again, mom, I'm sorry, but I know you love me. And I thank you for that. Debrief is awesome. We get to talk to people, see how the squad's doing, and I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one with an old squad leader who I had in month one. Her name's Emily, she's awesome. And uh, I just kinda wanna see the growth in between. Check her perspective. Checking perspectives is good. Make sure you like, if you enjoy giving yourself a little bit of self-love every now and again, you know, feeding that soul. You need to make sure you feed yourself. Subscribe, also, because it's awesome, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We decided to go on a river river cruise. River cruise, yeah. So, yeah. And it's also very cold. Show us the building again. But we're at Parliament. Look at this. Look at this. Do it. Yeah, there you go. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, debrief has come. Debrief has went. Ah, Budapest was cool. Great city to walk around in. Hi, Michaela. Hi. Do you know which bus we're going in? I'm going in. Where? What town? I don't know anymore. Who's your team leader? Hey, Emily. You're in the big white van. Big white van. So now we're going to put our stuff and load up to go to Romania. <laughs> big white van. Oh. It's this one. Twenty-six. Right there. We're going someplace new. That's how it didn't become good. You're like, keep on your shirt, you know it's new. Yeah, you got a new shirt. Okay, let's be real. We're traveling for 11 months, and I only have three shirts. So you gotta switch them out every now and again. We're not gonna carry like a whole wardrobe in your pack. Yeah, I have a, I have like four or five shirts. And your pack is still way smaller than mine. Right, that's, uh, what do you have? What are you carrying with you? <laughs> I don't know. You have three shirts, what is it that <laughs> Two pairs of pants. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it to a minister's diet. It's out quite a church today. I think it's actually my first church. I think we're staying here. I have no idea what's happening. I don't know. I'm still tired and I slept most of the way. It's definitely a bedtime. Yeah. It's my bed. Right there. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five dudes in a relatively big space. Isn't that right, Josh? Boom. Yep. So I'm gonna peace out. We're gonna go to bed. Remember, be excellent to each other always. Did I forget my toothbrush somewhere? <laughs> <laughs>